everyone, my name is Liz Turner and this is Keith Ashford and we work together in a partnership called Sculpture Logic. Yep, we work as freelance artists on various types of art projects and sculpture commissions and restoration work. Um, uh, we're based in Shrewsbury and we work all over the West Midlands really and beyond London, Wiltshire particularly. Um, the sort of work we do is um, public art projects really, so we'll work for um, different different uh, bodies, councils, schools, different companies um, and working a lot with community groups, so doing um, workshops, different types with different people. Yes, yeah, some of these uh, projects are uh, from council funding but some of them we actually raise the funds, devise and raise the funds for the projects ourselves and it's, they're largely supported by the Arts Council England and also by whichever uh, council, town council or county council we're working for at the time. Okay so how did we get to this point in our careers? Well uh, all the way back in the mist of time, Keith and I studied art at A-level at school um, and then we went to art college. So I did a, uh, an arts foundation course at Cheltenham Art College and then went on to do a BA in fine art uh, at Newcastle upon Tyne. Yep, I went straight into a, a BA in fine arts at Newcastle upon Tyne. I didn't do a foundation course and then I went on and with a Masters at uh, the same university, Newcastle upon Tyne. And I did a Masters at, in London at Wimbledon School of Art. Um, and, and part of the reason for that was because uh, we moved to London and I worked for 10 years in a bronze, fine art bronze casting foundry. So when I left Newcastle College, I uh, wrote to all the foundries in London asking for some work experience um, and that's something that I'd really encourage um, students now to do. Um, sometimes it can feel a bit of a scary thing to do um, but write a letter or e send an email, phone them up. Um, if you can identify uh, an area of, of fine art, visual art that you want to um, get involved with then that's a really good way of getting some experience so I had, I think, six replies and I got two jobs out of it, which led to my 10-year job in London. Yeah, I did a slightly different um, path after I finished uh, my education. I helped set up and became part of artist-led studio groups in Newcastle, um, where we had funding to develop our studio practice and also develop our links with the local community commissioners um, and I did that for a number of years and I went into education after that for a short period but then returned to work as a freelance artist about uh, 15 years ago. Okay so um, thinking about what advice we we would give um, young people starting out today in, in visual arts um, I've already said about I get con contacting um, industries. Um, think what you'd like, what you really like doing in, in the arts um, and pursue that to start with um, because it's really important that you like what you do. Um, and I would advise you to um, keep practicing what you do every week. So you could go out with a sketchbook, uh, do some drawing, take some notes about something you're interested in that you see, um, just do some writing at home, do some reading about art, um, watch some films, go on the internet, watch, watch, get some information from there, do some research into that area. Just something regularly that you do each week. Yeah, so in a way you're just reflecting on, on your uh, practice, your arts practice, uh, on a regular basis so that you can make judgments about what you've done and where you're going. Yeah and I think I think also some of the best advice that I was ever given was not to give up 
um, throughout my career, I found that people do say to me sometimes that um, you shouldn't really be in, you shouldn't really do the art, you shouldn't go into the art at the beginning because it, you, you won't make much money at it. It's going to be really difficult to pass. But we found, we haven't really found that. We found um, that we've just had so much fun. We've really enjoyed what we do. And that's a really obviously a key thing. And we do something different every day, really. Um, it's such a varied career, um, and and we really enjoy it. So I'd re really recommend it as a career to, to young people. Yeah, we've learnt lots of new um, techniques and practices. Mm. So we were trained originally very traditional sculpture, making things, making moulds, using different re resistant materials. But now we use things like digital media, we do film projections, we do all sorts of uh, types of workshops and different medias. So we're not um, not as narrow as we were when we first started out. We've got a whole wide range of uh, uh, experience and of things that we have to learn to do. That's right. So um, I think we just wish you good, good luck, luck with your futures. Yeah.